name is Antje Fiedler and I'm an associate editor of the Journal of Small Business Management. I have the great pleasure to talk with Professor Candida Prash and Dr. Sharik Niku about their research paper that explores how digitization and development of critical literacies influences changes in entrepreneurs' information-seeking behavior and how such changes in behavior directly influence the resource acquisition bundling and leveraging process contributing to the development of personal and business competencies and growth. The research paper had been developed by them in collaboration with Tao Oranzalo, who is a PhD student at the Arbo Academy at the University in Turku in Finland. Sharuk is currently a senior lecturer and researcher at the Department of Information Technologies at the Arbo Academy at the University in Turku. Candida holds the Franklin W. Onen Chair in Entrepreneurship and is the Faculty Director for the Diana International Research Institute at Babson College in the US. Their paper, Entrepreneurs Information Seeking Behaviors in the Digital Age of Systematic Literature Review, has been published in August 2022 in the Journal of Small Business Management. Welcome, Candida and Sharu. Thank Starting. you very much. We're happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Also, I'm, I'm very glad to be here. Just a small correction. I'm working in information studies at the Faculty of Social Sciences and Business and Economics at Oval Academy, which is correct. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So nice to see you. And maybe to start with, can you please tell us where the idea for the paper came from? Well, I think we both have something to say on this. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, so I would start by saying the research to date um, in entrepreneurship, it kind of covers the ways that um, startup ventures orchestrate their ventures and orchestrate their resources, how they acquire them, how they structure them and how they bundle them, and then how they're allocated uh, effectively. Um, but none of these papers have considered the effect of digitization on identifying or acquiring those resources. And so, for example, how the search process might occur using digital sources. I'm sure Sorok has some thoughts on that as well. Uh, yes, uh, th thank you, Candida. Uh, yeah, the original idea actually came from one of my former PhD students as a part of her PhD studies. And, uh, and as Candida also mentioned that uh, the literature on entrepreneurship and resource orchestration uh, uh, actually lacks uh, when you look into the uh, a combination of digitalization and its impact on information seeking behavior of of uh, entrepreneurs that that was the uh, perhaps the main reason that we started you know digging into the literature and see that how we can contribute uh, to this uh, stream of research therefore the idea uh, of of writing this systematic literature came from the these things that i mentioned we also see that uh, <clears throat> Uh, in the current uh, literature uh, of entrepreneurship, uh, it is not really very clear how digitalization influence uh, the the seeking uh, information seeking behavior of uh, of uh, of entrepreneurs. And when I refer to uh, information seeking behavior on entrepreneurs, uh, we also have to consider at the same time. Uh, the concept of digital literacy and also information literacy at the same time, because both of these the critical uh, that we call it in our paper as a critical literacies are, are extremely important uh, for the entrepreneurs in order to be able to perform the day to day uh, b b b the b routines. Yeah. Is there yeah. anything else that would you like Candida to add? That is so interesting. Thank you for sharing, you know, the, the background of the research paper. And the next question would be, what are the most interesting theoretical contributions of the paper? Well, just um, by way of uh, description, um, our review covered 39 studies published between 1990 and 2020, or 2020. Um, and we found that digitization, critical literacy skills, and information seeking behavior are directly linked to the resource orchestration process. And then, of course, with digitization, there's a shift in sources of information, internet sources, portals, and other. Um, and that decision making is also accelerated because of digitization. Um, it's, it's probably um, something that we all know, but there's more interconnectedness 
Um, but this is also a benefit because there's now unlimited sources. And so um, even though the benefit of having more information widely available is, is something that we all benefit from and entrepreneurs benefit from, the challenge is how to make sense of that and how to um, do a better job of seeking out though that information and do so uh, and have skills that allow you to, to do so in an effective way. So, um, so that's really where we, we landed in terms of the findings of the study. We did develop some uh, propositions. We have five propositions in the paper, which do suggest future research questions. And, um, and again, there's, so I guess you might say sort of three areas within which they fall, which is digitization, entrepreneurs and internet um, ICT adoption, um, the entrepreneurs' critical literacies, and then of course, uh, their information seeking behavior. Um, Sharok might have a few more points uh, on that. Yeah, that yes, thank you very much, uh, Candida. This is, in fact, is one of our, our main contribution to this, uh, for, uh, to this uh, uh, research article, because uh, uh, what was important for us to emphasize and highlight in our paper was to show that the digitalization, digital transformation, critical literacy skills are are, are extreme, extremely interconnected, and we cannot take this uh, these concepts uh, in isolation. But when it comes to entrepreneurship uh, and entrepreneurial be behavior, we also wanted again to emphasize that uh, regardless of what they are doing, what type of businesses the entrepreneurs are doing, having the a profound uh, literacy skills. Uh, whether it is information uh, literacy or uh, digital literacy, these two are are are, extre are extremely important capabilities that we uh, we suggest that every entrepreneur need to have it uh, before even starting their businesses. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as as Candida also mentioned that we have five propositions in, in the paper. In addition to that, we managed uh, to propose a framework, a research framework that uh, connects all these three aspects, digitalization, information seeking behavior, and also a, a critical literacy skills into, into one framework that perhaps uh, 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 in our next research, we want to validate perhaps this, uh, uh, the, the framework that we have uh, proposed in this paper. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think as Shrok notes, um, you know, it's not that you have to be, you know, we, we think of having these, these skills, this sort of critical literacy skills and information seeking behavior as being something only associated with a high tech business, but that's not the case anymore. Um, this is, these are certain skills and critical literacy, um, critical literacy skills and information seeking behavior skills that all businesses need to have in order to formulate a search how to, how to create search terms, how to distinguish between good and bad information, how to train their staff, and how to use information. So we highlight this at the, at the back end of the paper that there's some really important implications for practitioners as well. Thank you so much. That would be my next question. If you think about the contributions for practitioners and policymakers, what would be your message for them? Uh I think uh, Candida actually mentioned most of it, but, but one thing that I also wanted to perhaps emphasize is that uh, the, uh, we want, uh, a bit, uh, I, I think our paper has some practical implications for those who are deciding or, or, or trying to perhaps uh, create their venture is that uh, empowering their employees and, and and people working in the businesses with the critical literacy skills is a, extremely uh, uh, important in today's businesses. And especially with the COVID and, and pandemic situation, we, we saw that uh, how digitalization and digital technology actually influence uh, the businesses uh, regard, again, the, what type of, uh, I mean, the type of businesses is not important. For instance, if you take, the restaurant business also, we see that they certainly have to shift uh, to, to online businesses uh, and uh, for instance, to, to find a way that they can 
uh, provide their services, deliver their services to their customers. And that is exactly uh, the point that we want to mention that how important is the critical literacy uh, and uh, especially the digital literacy and information literacy in order to be able to use the available technologies in order to create value for themselves and also for the, for the customers as well. And also one more important thing was that the adoption of ICT, the, uh, the different type of uh, technologies that, uh, that uh, of course, it has become uh, the, uh, very important for, the, for, for all businesses, but improving the literacy skills also has the similar effect in how the business can lead to a competitive advantage and also gaining uh, uh, I mean, the competitive advantage in, in, in the business. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So interesting. Um, do you have any final comments or thoughts about the research paper? I think there's just more work to be done in this area. I think one of the things that we were surprised is that um, there really wasn't that much research and surprisingly so. I mean, if you think about when, you know, the advent of the internet, which is in the mid 1990s. And so we've had this this sort of internet connection that has been going on for, for decades. And of course, information is everywhere. And so the fact that we haven't really explored this as, as it relates to the resource or orchestration process was a little bit surprising for us. And so we really feel that there's an opportunity for more research to take place. Uh, I fully agree with, with Candida, what, what she just mentioned, and I think that was one of our, our also uh, main concern, actually, where to publish this paper, and then we decided to, to, to submit our paper to, to, to JSPM, because we thought that this would be a best outlet for us to to, to to introduce, for instance, a research area which is not very common in entrepreneurship research, and that is the critical literacy or inter, uh, entrepreneurs information seeking behavior. And we are very, I think, we are very glad that we got the pub, uh, got published this paper in journal uh, of of uh, the JSPM journals. Yeah. It is certainly a wonderful paper, and I really 100% agree. This will be a very important field for the future to better understand. So thank you so much again for taking thank the Thank you time. very much for your time. Thank you very much. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. I just want to mention, I'm sure that other readers now are interested to read the full version of the paper. And the paper is available at the Taylor and Francis website of the Journal of Small Business Management. So. The viewers who want to read it, and um, please have a look there. I really certainly enjoyed learning about this important research. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.